talk about history, talk about culture, and you may think about Tainan. But actually, Kaohsiung is a place which is full of cultural and historic heritage. So today, let's go to talk Kaohsiung and explore the history in Kaohsiung. Do you know where are we right now? Let's go take a look. See that? This is Feng Yi Academy, a famous historic site in Kaohsiung. The regular entrance fee is sixty-six NT dollars, but. Because I had the honor card of volunteer service, so I got a concession. As soon as you step in the Feng Yi Academy, you will see a beautiful yard. There are some cute figures in the yard. Many tourists like to take photos with them. This is a bullock cart. In the past, a statesman would go on a tour of inspection from time to time. Look, this is a plaque of Feng Yi Academy. At Feng Yi Academy, tourists are also welcome to make their own coins as souvenirs. There are always a lot of tourists from all over the world to take a look at the beauty of Feng Yi Academy. This is the ancient Thai classroom. People can take photos here and experience the atmosphere of the classroom in the past. Walking in the Feng Yi Academy, it seems that you are walking in the ancient China. At Feng Yi Academy, there is also a temple for people to worship, to pray for good luck. This is Wenchang Temple. People can pray for successful academic achievements here. At Feng Yi Academy, there's also a small-scale museum here. For example, there are some monuments exhibited here. Besides, people can also see some old-fashioned door plates here. What's more, there's a model that simulates the ancient Fengshan town. You can look at the ancient Fengshan town at a glance. <coughs> the exhibition also features the historical document in the past. The textbooks that were used by the students in Qing Dynasty. There's one more experience for tourists. You can dress like a government official in the Qing Dynasty. In the past, there was a game called Shen Guan Tu. The one who gets promoted to the highest position is the winner. Is very similar to the concept of monopoly. Here, you can also learn more about the ranks for the statesmen 
and Qing Dynasty. Look, a buffalo. Let's go take a look. If you are tired, there's a tea shop for you to buy some teas and beverages there. You can also buy some souvenirs for your friends and family there. For instance, the tools for Chinese calligraphy. Before you leave for another place in Kaohsiung, don't forget to get a stamp there. Fengyi Academy is the most long-standing existing academy in Taiwan. Don't forget to pay a visit to Fengyi Academy in Kaohsiung. The Fengshan Chenghuang Temple is just right next to the Fengyi Academy. So don't miss it after you're visiting Fengyi Academy. Chenghuang Temple is also called the City God Temple. The city gods used to be the mortals. Because of their contribution when they were alive, they became gods after they died. They are General Fan and General Xie, so called black and white impermanence. The city god may also be called upon to help those who are accused of crimes. The accused appear before the god and ask for a sign to help prove their innocence. The Chenghuang Temple is just like a government in the present time. There are many officials responsible for different affairs. Looking from the outside of the Chenghuang Temple, you can see there is a plaque with the words of You are here. We are all mortals. We will die. After watching this video, remember to visit these two places in Kaohsiung. See ya!